on. I'm training for a marathon. I don't think I'll ever be running a marathon again, but um, you don't know that. You might like it. I might like it. At any moment, I could start liking running. Any, any time. So I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I'm not a runner. That was only 13.1. And you know what's neat is when you're at 10 miles and the marathoners are passing you. That was the funnest part. <laughs> that means he went out and back and out and back before I went out and halfway back. You are hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's just fun to read, even if you are not considering running a marathon. Women's Health called this book the best book to run from scratch. That's I a great honor. Why did you write this book? I was doing fundraising and sending out journal entries to all my friends and family, documenting my pain and agony, and they thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and they said, you should make this into a book. And so I said, OK. A runner before you I was set out not on this a track. What? I, I love this. Tell us about this. This is the water holder butt thingy that yeah. I, I don't know its real name. <laughs> 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 thingies here. Which are good for running or robbing banks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could rob a bank and then run. What really got you on the road running then? Well, it was a fundraiser for the American Stroke Association, and it was in memory of my grandfather who had had a stroke years ago and um, had died a few months prior. Did you ever get the runner's I high? always said I got the runner's hangover, because I was always <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> but somehow you got kind of literally back on the horse. How much of it had to be mind over matter? It was though? all mind over matter. Just like anything in life that you're going to tackle. If you decide you're going to do it mentally, you're going to do it. The book is called The Non-Runner's Marathon Guide to Running for Women. Sometimes a song kind of gets stuck in your head, doesn't it? Over and over. And I, I shorted out my headphones when I was running the marathon, and so it got stuck on the hip hop station. And it was Milkshake Weekend, and so that Milkshake song, my milkshake brings all the ball to me on. <laughs> I kept playing over and over for my entire marathon. So that song still gives me knee pain. Let's hear that song one more time. I like it. <laughs> challenge people to challenge themselves whatever that is get outside of your comfort zone and try something that you think is impossible and you figure out a way to do it I wanted to ask you about dream in motion what that is and what you're doing with it well we're going around the country for a book tour but I didn't want to do just a book tour I decided to try to do something good with it so we're going around for about eight weeks all around the country and we're trying to get people up off their butts and moving and get involved in their physical fitness but also in their communities and the whole thing's a Katrina fundraiser we're gonna end up in New Orleans and volunteer there for two weeks 